uh, my alarm in the morning is uh, the instrumental of hot by 17 and there's actually a funny story behind it so obviously growing up in a very strict household where you cannot wake up to k-pop songs in the morning so um what i did was i downloaded the instrumental of hot because i was so obsessed with it and uh, i renamed it to energetic.mp3 so when i set that as my alarm in the morning my mom obviously she asked me what is this uh, it's very uh very poppy in the morning and i was like this is a default alarm that my mobile has provided and it's called energetic it's something default in the in the phone so yeah now i wake up to hot by 17 in the morning every day you know i'll be like hot 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 do you use k-pop anywhere in your professional or student life um about that why don't i instead give you a little sneak peek I usually enter K-pop related words or K-pop idols names in my console logs and these console logs actually help me understand where the code is breaking. You can enter anything in these console logs but I prefer to give K-pop names. Uh, there are also cases where sometimes you have to create dummy files just to check if the code is running or not. So that I might give something like jungkook.py for a Python file or Jimin's Jams.c for a C file. And somehow like this, I try to bring in K-pop some or the other way in my everyday life to not make it bold. Wow, that is super cool. Did you just say super? Like this. Sorry. Why are, Why are you, you smiling? smiling? I wasn't smiling. My gums were aching, so I was going like that. No, I saw you smiling on your phone. Don't lie. No, I wasn't. You have a boyfriend, no? Don't lie to me. On my face, you're lying. No, I don't have a boyfriend. No. Don't no, lie. I, I... Don't lie. Why will, I, why will I lie to you? No, I don't. I mean, how do you actually tell them that you do have many capable boyfriends, but it's just not the boyfriend that they have in their mind? You do have many boyfriends. True. It's not the boyfriend that they imagine. What do you mean when you say K-pop raised your standards? So yeah, one thing that I've learned from K-pop men is that, uh, you know, even if their schedule is super busy, they always take time out of their day to send something positive to their fans, cheerful, motivating, something, uh, you know, it could be like, it's raining out in Korea and then they're like, everyone is raining, please carry an umbrella when you go out. Or if it's really cold, they'll be like, everyone please dress up warmly when you go out. And that's just so cute, even though it's a very little thing to do, you know. So the this, this standard of the bar is such that, you know, if a guy can't take time out of their busy schedule to even text me once a day, I'm not going to settle for that guy. Obviously, no. Like, that's the standard. That's something that I've gotten from K-pop. Yeah. What are you checking in your phone? Oh, this? So I've been in the talking stage with a guy and he was the first one who texted me, okay? And I replied back to him and it's been three days he hasn't responded back. You have high standards yet you're talking to a mediocre guy in real life? What do I do, I can't go marry one more. Namjoon or Yoongi or Escoops. No. I'm going to settle for someone in real life. <laughs> Yeah, we never felt so young Why do you never sing this song? Sorry when I'm out to go Girl, this is a white wall. <laughs> That's something Kiho said in one of his lives. Um, anyways, so uh, I had to take it down before my mom came back home because uh, I can't have a K-pop wall and all. My parents will disown me. I'm not allowed to have that. So uh, they just think it's an unhealthy obsession. You can't change their opinion. But now it's been five years and I've grown a lot as an individual thanks to K-pop, thanks to so many things. Uh, and so I've learned that uh, it's best to be unbothered. If something makes you happy, it doesn't have to make sense to anyone else. Uh, and as uh, Won Young says, you are you, I am me. She's so cute. The first BTS album that I got, in fact, the first K-pop album, um, I did a bunch of uh, side jobs, side hustles in order to make money to buy this so that, uh, yeah, I don't have to ask my parents. And uh, this was something that I won as a prize in a K-pop contest. How would you describe your life before K-pop? Excuse me, I'm getting a call. One second. I wasn't getting a call. I just think that life before K-pop is not really worth talking about. Yeah.